Oh my god. <laughs> so I have to get this app, apparently. Let's go get this app real quick. This is hilarious, by the way. All right, go to the app store. What am I downloading? Playlink or Hidden Agenda? Playlink, right? That makes more sense. No, it says hidden agenda. Hidden agenda. Good, it's free. Except, yes, yes, yes. Go ahead. I'm on Wi Fi. Don't act like I'm not on Wi Fi. Hopefully, this will be faster than my PlayStation downloading any update ever. Seventy eight percentage, eighty six, ninety five percent, one hundred percentage. Man, what a what an enticing stream! Oh, Jesus, that was a little terrifying. My phone did not like that. Hidden agenda. Oh, can you hear that? Ooh, spooky. Okay. Aww. So no one else can play Link. Unless they're on the same Wi-Fi network, it looks like. Why am I going to join my own game, though? Well, fuck it. Donk is in control. <laughs> okay. In Hidden Agenda, touch the screen on your device to move your color pointer on the TV. Oh, that's wild! Oh no. I went too far. Okay. Why is it? Stay right there. So do I not use my actual controller for this? What's the deal here? I'm so confused. Give me some help. Oh, never mind. Um, let me back out of that. I don't need that. Let's see some options. Voice volume, sound effects. Color blonde mode, that's cool. Global stats. Do I wanna see those yet? I don't I don't think I wanna see those yet. Subtitles on English English, that's all good. Alright, 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 alright. I think I'm ready to go, perhaps. That's so weird. Why does it have to use the phone though? Competitive mode? What the fuck is competitive mode? We'll just go with story mode for now. In story mode, you're playing the game for fun. Work together to solve the crime and play the story you want to see. Oh, that's wild. Okay. I wish that other people could join me, but I'm all alone. How sad. So I guess we're ready. Get in the box. Ripple effect. Noun. The spreading consequences of a single event or action.
That's just the butterfly effect. Don't even lie. Every choice you make changes the future. Supermassive. Some affect relationships between characters. Ooh. Others make waves that change everything. Okay, but choose wisely. It's literally just the butterfly effect from Until Dawn. They just have to rebrand it for their cop cops and robbers game. Hey, that rat trap is my icon on the PSN. How about that? Who's this? Oh, what's that? What's all this about? Um, I use a box cutter like that for work. What's this naked, naked person doing? Oh no, oh no! Oh no, don't open that! Oh, well, you fucked up. Yeah, you fucked up. Six weeks later. The Trapper. Biography. Okay, am I supposed to be using my controller or this fucking phone? I'm so scared now. Becky Marnie. November 2012. Nice and easy. Textbook cut. What's the play? Vote for choices by moving your pointer inside the box. Okay. Let's be cautious, because I don't know about this yet. Doesn't feel right. Let's go it out. If, I mean... I, will, I chose wisely, I hope. Got a trophy for that. I don't know if it'll show up on the stream. I'll take the door around back. Let's go, Who's Becky. Right? Still oh no. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Becky, let me smash. <laughs> oh no. Why? What? Okay. I'm I'm a mature adult. Use your pointer to hit the target before the timer runs out. What the fuck? Don't make me do this shit on my phone. Okay. Oh, oh! Fastest finger. That's my trophy I just got. Okay, I guess I'm just using my phone. Uh, let's investigate. What's up with this music? Oh, we pumping, we partying. Oh no! What do we? What, what's up, like, Becky? What's the plan? Tom. Uh, uh. Let's be cautious. He's not doing anything. He's I mean, he's doing something, but it doesn't look like an emergency that I need to address, or else someone will die at this very second. Hands up! Hands up now! To shoot, move your pointer onto the target. Think before you shoot. You do not have to open fire. That is so jarring. Okay. I'm not gonna shoot. Well, shit, he's got a gun Hands though. Your head, no sudden moves. Fuck. Let's shoot, shoot that bitch. Get him, Becky. Oh my god. Oh! No! I'm sorry, Tom. Oh no. 
Get out that water! Ooh, oh no, I fucked up! Oh, we've got rescued a hostage. Got rescued a hostage. Sorry, Tom. I'm sorry, Tom. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the hunt for the trapper came to a dramatic end tonight as police from the third precinct arrested their primary suspect, Jonathan Finn. Oh, should I not wait for Finn in connection Tom? with a string of grisly murders that has gripped the city and claimed the lives of first response police officers. More on the story as it develops. Oh, I'm sorry, Tom. I'm so sorry. I can't believe I've already Ladies gotten someone killed. The accused Jonathan Finn is guilty. Of that, there is no doubt. Your job is simply to determine how he is punished. This man, the so-called trapper killer, has terrorized our community with his brutal murder spree. Booby trapping his victims so our brave first responders became victims themselves. One such hero was Officer Tom Nelson, who died as he and his partner were making the arrest that brought us here today. Jonathan oh, Finn has confessed he looks like a fucking to dolphin. every single one of these crimes. Why? Because he hopes you will see him as a man, a fellow human being. But this is only another one of the trapper's clever ploys. We cannot trust this man. He has a deceitful, twisted, villainous mind, and nothing he says or does will ever change that. I therefore recommend punishment to the full extent of the law, no less than the death penalty. Thank you. Jonathan Finn, for the crimes for which you have been found guilty, I hereby sentence you to death by lethal injection. This court is adjourned. Well, there it goes. I've already gotten someone else killed. Don't look at me, you nasty fish man. I'm gonna be real pissed if he could like Tap becomes the law my favorite. Button on your app to read plot updates, view character biographies, and check the major ripple events affecting your story. This voice coming in and explaining things to me is very jarring and annoying and unnecessary. Is the crawl. Let's kick it off tonight with our very own homegrown villain, Johnny Finn, the Trapper. Sucker's been on death row for five whole years. Mr. Trapper's only got 48 hours left on our big blue marble, so I thought, hey, did you know one of the victims? Phones are open. Call the one, you're on. Hey, so, well, yeah, man, I mean, in my point of view, like, they can't fry this son of a bitch hard enough, you know? I saw he got messed up as a kid. I mean, that's no excuse to take it out on our finest boys in blue. I hear you, but it ain't like our cops got the finest reputation, you know? Mm -hmm. Look at Marty for one. Promotion to homicide, metal, the works. Are they talking about my girl Becky? Turns out she's dirtier than the rest of us down here. Oh, Becky. Uh-oh. Who knows what else? Becky, Biz, what you been doing? Well. You fuck Becky, I guess. My phone battery ain't gonna die from this. I'm on 34. Plug this shit in. Yeah, there we go. That's sweet, sweet power. Good <laughs> morning, everyone. Caught another pair of John Does this weekend. We're quickly racking up red names on this board, and I gotta tell you, unsolved cases don't exactly uphold the reputation we've built here at this precinct. Just put Marnie the Magician on the case. I hear she's got a knack for making things disappear. Oh, son of a Detective bitch. Calvary. Pretend you didn't just say that. Just oh, is that Becky? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I can't tell anyone apart already. <laughs> that was Becky the whole time. Whoops. Hey. Don't let Calvary get to you. Ever since he got internal affairs eyes on you, he acts like some kind of moral crusader. At this point, I just tune him out. Seriously. You doing all right? Um, no, I'm so yeah. anxious. I accidentally got my fucking no, partner gonna... killed. I crawl further up your ass. The world's I first human-sized piece oh, of internal fears. excrement thinks I stole evidence. In different circumstances, we would be famous. Yikes! 
But hey, at least everyone knows he's a turd. I can't believe he just yikes you, Becky. I would keep your distance until all this inquiry bullshit blows over. Don't throw IA any bones. Oh, did... Okay, but those sub subtitles just said that she hoped that he would take a long walk off a short cliff. <laughs> Becky, you got something to say? Um, be a little... Oh, I meant to be sarcastic. I went too far. Detective Marnie, we have a word in my office. Her butt's fucking huge. Look, Marnie, I'm not supposed to comment on ongoing internal affairs investigation, but if it starts affecting my best detective... I'm sorry, sir. Nick, don't apologize. You're a good cop. I have no doubt you didn't do anything to compromise the crime scene intentionally. The facts will speak for themselves. Thank you for believing in me, sir. So which crime scene did Becky fuck you up? Know, it sometimes feels like we don't have a choice in these things, but... You do. You got me? Yes. Was it where we caught the trapper dude? I want to believe that. But I know the trapper's set for execution in 48 hours. It's a heavy load. You know when you send someone to death row? I don't want you to be distracted. I already got my partner killed. Don't worry, Becky's fine. Yeah, see? Uh, let's talk about Tom. I'd put him there again. Only next time, I'd make sure he didn't take my partner with him. Officer Nelson's death was not in vain. His death was my fault. My mess. Maybe once the trapper's pushing daisies, I can finally get a good night's sleep. You will. This very nice, um, motion cap or. Got your message. Heading to see your CGI or whatever. Now. Sorry I couldn't make it back to town. I'm not crazy about meeting Finn without his attorney present. I know. Thank you for talking to him so quickly. Well, he doesn't have much time left, does he? No, he doesn't. You want to give me a little preview? It can be kind of a tough nut to crack. Be strategic. Great. Any tips? You need to get him to talk about Adam Jones. Who's Adam Jones? Better you hear it from him. You got a plan? Um, let's be optimistic. Yeah. I know how to get what I need. Call you after. That's right. Felicity knows what she wants. Your attorney says you've got, got something pepper you spray. want to share with me. You've got five minutes. Piss around and I'm out of here. That's right. Miss Graves, I did not kill anybody. Oh no, your I traps did, right? I God for what happened. At Las Palmas? The orphanage? We were just kids. We trusted them. But I've forgiven them now. God teaches us to forgive. You can't forgive your abusers once you've put them in the ground. Forgiveness doesn't work like that. I didn't kill anyone! Finn, calm down. Calm? I'm about to fucking die! And nobody will know the truth. What do you mean? Yeah, what's, right? what's the truth? I'm gonna die a liar. A dirty, sinning liar. Truth about okay. what? The confession, the murders, everything! Oh, so now you didn't kill them? The chaplain, the orderly? Then who did? Let's talk about Adam Jones. Adam Jones? Adam was my friend at the orphanage. Things we'd been through together, who could blame him for killing them? Mm. You know what I think? What? I think you just realized you're running out of road, so you're buying yourself a little extra asphalt. No. No. You come up with a nifty little nobody to take your seat on the stainless steel ride. But there's only one problem. What's that? He doesn't exist. No. He exists. Tell Where me about him. Yeah. Adam escaped, and I found drugs. I was high from the moment I got out of there. And a couple of years later, a couple of centuries, hell if I know, Adam tracks me down online. And he keeps writing okay. me and writing me and bringing up all that old shit from the orphanage. He says he knows exactly how to make him pay. Mm, you need some hair on your head. So we made an arrangement. I wrap myself out, I take the heat off him, spend a couple of months in the clink, and then wham! Trapper strikes again. Can't be me, because I'm in here. Makes sense, right? Pretty convenient. Convenient? Convenient is Father Raminsky running an orphanage. 
fox in the hen house. You have no idea what it was like in there. Mm. The uh oh. Oh no. Well, that's what he called it. But oh no. I oh my god. Was having any fun in there. Oh my god. Oh, that got dark. Fox never found it. No. Oh fuck. Now you can go see for yourself. I'm not even sure if the orphanage is still standing. So where is he? Adam. Now. No idea. How can we find him? Got to start someplace. I got a place. Where? It's not. Uh, it's better if I draw you a map. Uh, I don't know about giving him a pen, but um, yeah, like. Are you gonna draw me a treasure map? All I can do is point you in the right direction, but. Uh, nope. You got words. Use it. I kind of need to show you myself, you know. All right. Fine. So let's say you're telling the truth. You don't know where he is now. Sounds to me like he's left you high and dry. I know what Adam's like. The kind of places he hangs around. We could go together, check it out. That you gotta give me more than that, or you ain't going. Uh oh. To oh shit. I can't take it! I'm not supposed to oh. be here! Okay. It's not supposed what? to we be here! We were a second ago. Hold on! Stop it! This is insane. Adam told me this wouldn't happen. He told me I'd be out by now. He promised! Isn't that still a crime, though? Isn't that aiding and abetting? Here, I'll go find him. You if dumb this bitch. If all true, I will make sure you don't die a liar, okay? I will look into Adam Jones. If he's out there, I'll find him. I didn't even let him draw a map. Um, well, bye, you bald asshole. Later, gator. You look like a nerd! How do you think? I got a report back on Adam Jones. He was at Las Palmas same time oh, as no. my client, but he died in the same fire that closed it for Okay. Earth. Look, I know where you're going with this, and it's not gonna work. There's no way they're letting Finn out. It's too flimsy. I know. That's not what I'm after. Then why bring me out here? If you tell the judge about Adam Jones, maybe he'll grant Finn a temporary release and help the cops track down Jones. Lana, it's too late. It could lead to an appeal. Why are we helping him anyways? Our, it looked like we were like a prosecutor. Not enough to overturn. Finn or Felicity is, is whatever. Man, but if he dies, to make sure he is the trapper. Oh. Uh, oh, God. Okay, hold on. He aided this guy anyways, though. <sighs> yeah. You're right. God. Let's take it to Judge Vanstone, see what happens. Thank you, Felicity. Don't thank me yet. Okay, sure. He still aided the real trapper if he isn't the trapper. Which he probably is the trapper. Is this gonna be some split Thank you personality so much for shit? So quickly. Miss Petty already filled me in on this whole Adam Jones business. Yes, sir. Uh, I just spoke with Mr. Finn. Now, in my experience, you light a candle under a man's ass, you can fly a balloon out of his mouth. What the fuck hey, kind of expression? Are you buying his story? I'm about to. I have doubts. I have doubts. But we do have a record of an Adam Jones. Oh, do we? Fuck. Same time as you ain't me. mentioned that. Has anyone spoken to Jones? He's been presumed dead for years. Well, that's quite a stretch, don't you think? Well, even if Jones exists, how can you be sure Finn can track him down? Um, let's be optimistic. I'm, I'm not sure what the truth is, but I know it's out there and we need time to find it. That's right. Well, apparently... You need to release a convicted serial killer to find it. Just I thought he was just gonna draw me a map. Lead the police to Adam Jones. You're full of surprises, Miss Graves. Well, if you were in my position, what would you do? Confident. Was confident. I think that he can help us. If you grant Finn a single day release under armed guard, we may save an innocent man from wrongful execution. Okay, he's still not innocent though. He still helped this dude. All right, Miss Graves. I'm going to grant Jonathan Finn a temporary release in a police custody, but only for three hours, no more. 
Thank you. Wow, three whole hours. That'll hey, really. Hey, Lana, got it. you're not gonna believe this. He actually went for it. Surprised the heck out of me. Wow. Nice work, Flissy. Don't call me that. Um, I'm Flissy? gonna head over to Homicide <laughs> and let him know. Good call. And Felicity. Flissy. Thank you. Don't thank me yet. I'm only gonna call her Flissy from now on. That's cute. Hey, I got a trophy. Ace in the hole. Forty-three hours until his execution. Okay. Outrageous. Case against Finn was air goddamn tight. Is Nailed that Daniel Radcliffe? For Christ's sake. Had to be one hell of a tale for you to go and spin the judge's head around. Um. Mm, just doing my job, I guess. I'm just doing my job, Detective Calvary. I try not to miss things that might be important. I know that's sort of a foreign concept around here. I'm not gonna punch a DA. Not a lady one. What the least. fuck? Who exactly was Adam Jones? He, he Did he threatened come up her? at all during the investigation? Uh huh. There was an Adam Jones at the orphanage. But you know what? Sorry, fucker was killed in the fire that shut the place down. So the story kind of ends there. Ben's got that. that timing. You don't think he's full of it? Becky. Um. Um. Which option? There's something. There's something. I think. I think there's something there. I'm gonna try Josh to play her so optimistically. He's granting a temporary release into police custody to help find Adam Jones. Finn tells me Rominski had a secret room at the orphanage, called it the playroom. It's where he oh, held we're gonna his bring this up again. extracurricular activities. Yikes! Does that sound familiar? No, I remember something like that. I didn't come out in the report. That's because someone's hiding uh, something. Mr. Hillary. So, when Who's you this analyzed young boy? the bodies of the Trapper's victims, did you find anything that might suggest there could be another suspect? Gosh, that was five years ago. I, would, I don't think so. So, no reason to suspect anyone but Finn? I do recall only, you know, submitting a partial analysis of the evidence because Mr. Finn confessed, so it seemed open and shut. You didn't so even look at it all? more evidence left to analyze. Well, yeah, trace signatures. What? Do you have access to all that data? Now just hold on a goddamn second. How can you even entertain the idea of letting this scumbag out of his cell? Shut Finn up, Dane Redcliffe. He went through hell at Las Palmas. He hated the police. We even found his hair at another crime scene. The RV park, right? That was the social worker? And, uh, Detective Marnie, would you mind walking me through that night again? I'll walk you through it in two words. Missed opportunity. Could have had Finn in handcuffs right then and there. I'm gonna fight this stupid asshole. I don't want to hear from Marnie, you dumb bitch. I think I'd like to talk about me. Marnie, if you don't mind. That's uh, right. Sure. Slam him down. Captain Hope was a social worker at Las Palmas Orphanage. We didn't know Finn had her. Are we in a flashback? Oh, we yeah. got a 10 8 at Hog Haven Trailer Park out by the highway. A break in in progress. I was closest to the scene, so I went solo. Should have been a piece of cake, but that night everyone was on pins and needles because the trapper was raising Cain. What does that mean? And any one of us could have been next. Raising Cain? What the fuck does that mean? Okay. Five years and three weeks ago. What happened? Oh no, am I about to be in control of this flashback? I bet I am. Becky, what we doing? What's the plan? Let's uh, let's just go straight on in. Who's got time to look around? It's already happened. Can't change the past, right? Right, Supermassive? Search for the clue shown um, at the top of the screen. Use your pointer to highlight the clues Are you serious? before the timer runs out. Oh fuck! Some Don't of make these me do clues this should shit. help you in the future. So try to find them all. Oh fuck! Oh f oh, what is all this shit? I can't even see. Footprints. Where the fuck are these footprints? Oh, okay. There's a bottle. Got it. Oh god, I can't move this fucking pointer. Oh, this sucks. Oh, I'm in hell. Footprints. Fuck. 
Get on it. What's the other thing? A duffel bag. Hey, right there, bitch. Gotcha. All right. <laughs> that was better than I thought it would be. Found some bomb making equipment. Got a trophy for finding shit. Said CSI. Dong found footprint. <laughs> Dong found wire cutters. <laughs> Amazing. What the fuck was that? I ain't about no babies. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. What is it? Oh, okay. It's not a baby. Whew. We'll get you out of there. Don't worry. It's alright. Can you take that thing off her mouth first? Thank you. Help. Help me. Oh, shh. Okay, 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 okay. Just keep quiet. Who did this to you? I... Oh, she's sweaty. I was in the bar. I... I don't know. I woke up here. Oh God, please help me, please. What's happening? Mm -hmm. I mean, you got a mom strapped to you. What? <laughs> Flea trailer. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna remove the timer. Oh God! Oh, oh my God! Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, please. Oh, oh, Becky. Oh, okay. I thought she was about to leave. <laughs> oh no, do I gotta pick a fucking wire? Oh fuck. Oh, oh. Nice. Good job, Becky. Good job. Proud of you. Nice. Hey, Becky did it! It wasn't the kind of thing I'm eager to repeat. Ben must have seen you coming. Got out before finishing the job. Yeah, split so quick he left his gear behind. That sounds like it wasn't him. Um. Mm, 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 uh, how do you get away? How did Finn get away? I tried to lock down the perimeter, but Finn was long gone by the time backup arrived. So how did you link Finn to the scene? I discovered them as the Finn had left a hair at the scene. We ran the DNA through our criminal database, and he came up as the match. He was already in the system. Finn had been in and out of the station so many times, he practically had a door with his uh. name on it. When we got the tip uh, that he'd been spotted at a squat, he just happened to be driving by. Shit just seems to fall on your lap, detective. At least I caught him, dick. Uh-oh. Oh. Mama Bear's got a temper. Daniel Radcliffe, shut the fuck up. You're not helping. I'm sorry, Detective, but your attitude is not helping. I'm sorry. Last I checked, this was my case. And I got my guy convicted. Who the fuck are you to question my competency? I'm a district attorney. That's right. Are you finished? Lay it down, Flissy. The case shook everyone up. I think we've poured enough salt in all our own wounds for one night. Sergeant. I think that about covers it. Or anything else we can help you with? Here we go. Do you have Adam Jones's forensics records on file? Well, not from his death. Were there samples taken so when he was placed in the orphanage? Yes, most likely. Would it be possible to pull those records and run them against evidence found at the Trapper's crime scene? Are you shitting me? You're wasting the time of this entire division, you understand? I got a better idea. We let that psycho die on the table. Calvary, stop. We'll have Mr. Hillary look into it. Let's know if we find anything. Thank you. All right, that's right. Flissy gets her way. Now, slap him. Hey, Graves. Yeah? I just wanted to say that Calvary's a dick. Yeah. yeah. Don't worry about it. You were really helpful. Thank you, Becky. Oh, <gasps> date! Oh, hey, what are you doing tonight? We going on a I date! Have... What? I've got a huge stack of files at my apartment. Oh. Not gonna be able to get through it on my own. Flussy, could have had a date. You know, 
I think I'll take a pass. See, she wanted a date. We'll uh, let you know if anything comes up. Fair enough. Becky's let down, Flissy. Have a good one. Could have been on a date. Fuck. Oh, I just scared myself. A rat trap. Target number one, Rupert Walsh. Local undertaker, drunk, no apparent connection to Las Palmas Orphanage. After the murder, the trapper rigged a shotgun to the motel door and the first oh, responding officer was killed. That's not good. Second target, Frederick LeMay. Orderly at Las Palmas, drug charges, assaults, but no convictions. Trapper left his body in a pitch black room and filled the light fixture with C4. Ooh. First responding officer flipped the switch and sayonara. Why was sayonara spelled Third so target, weird? <laughs> Father Leminski. The trapper had sewn explosives inside his body, wired to blow if he moved a muscle. Oh, fuck. Left him sitting in a prayer position, and he oh, was forced to damn. confess his sins, namely the abuse he and his cronies conducted at the orphanage. The first responder was, well, huh? It was Sergeant Teller. A theory. While the first target had no apparent connection to Las Palmas, all the responding officers were from the third precinct. Including Detective Marnie. Were the initial victims just a smokescreen? And the real targets, the third precinct police? Mm. Why would he target them? Contacts. Who would you like to call? Let's call Becky. Becky Marnie. Calling Becky Marnie. Becky. Hi, Detective Marnie. This is Felicity Graves. Hi. Hi, I'm so sorry for calling so late, but I've just been going over the case files, and... Do you mind if I run a theory by you? Sure. Hit me. Rat traps? I found some file photos of rat traps at the crime scenes. Yeah, that was the trapper's sick little calling card. We kept that detail out of the press. Do you think it's possible that the real targets in each of the trapper killings were actually the first responding officers? I suppose it's possible. Becky ain't even doing anything on her computer. She's just sitting there. Uh. Well, I'm not trying to accuse the cops of anything, and I know you were one of the responders too, so that's kind of why I was wondering if there might be something there, some grudge. You knew the other cops, right? Honestly, I could think of a million reasons. I was in the third precinct, sure, but I got out of there as soon as I could. How do you mean? The place was a hellhole, at least back then. Drugs, bribes, you name it. Those were not good guys. Still? A lot of it cleaned up pretty soon after the Trevor killing. Oh. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, well, thank you. You've been very helpful, Detective Marnie. How about no that problem. date? And call me Becky. Yes! Thank you, Becky. That's right. We're in Blackwood, Blackwood Mountain. State Park Cabin. Just kidding. This is 125 31 to 10, hours 16. until Finn's execution. Make an entry. 125 acknowledged. Caution advised. Be cautious. Who is this? Is this Daniel Radcliffe? <sighs> this is the police. Anyone oh, here? I can't even read that name. Sir, can you hear me? You sleeping? Taking a nap. Long day at work. <laughs> oh, oh! Okay.
Becky! Back at it again, Becky! 29 hours What's until Finn's execution. Becky, it's... What? It's not good. The he got another one. It's, uh... The it's trapper nice. is out there. What? What happened? We're still sorting through the mess, but call came in, there was a body, responder showed up, body was rigged. Bum, it bum, looks bum. just like a trapper murder. Da, 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 da. Who is it? Police. Who? How? It's, uh, it's Calvary. What? No, was that, that just... Daniel Radcliffe? Cause... That's ridiculous. I don't know all the details yet, we're still sorting through the mess. It's, it's pretty rough in there. I think that was Radcliffe. <laughs> Yawn. Go, Becky. Mm, that's real bad. Excuse me, would you please stay clear of my working area? Thank you. <laughs> From what we can piece together, it looks like Calvary was uh, indulging in some private hospitality. Hired hospitality? What? Yep. Track her down? Uh, just a manager's vague description, brunette, twenties. Great. Calvary's firearm is discharged, full clip, but the only blood in here is his own. And, uh, Officer Montesinos? The responder? Calvary's body was rigged. Oh, Traps. okay. Fuck. His body was rigged, and then this other officer came in. I don't know this other officer. Oh, fuck, don't make me do this. Got one. Come on. Come on. I don't. Oh, I'm so bad at this. Got two. It's right there. Oh, no. The picture frame. Hurry! It was right there. Ah. Fuck. Dong found bullet holes. If someone cut his throat from behind, then why would he fire this way? And if they did it from the front. Why would he miss? I, there's a picture frame too and it's crooked, but I just missed it. Fuck. Oh god. It's really him. What about the picture frame though? It's crooked. Fuck. Fuck. Anything? Nothing useful. Becky. I don't know, that's pretty useful. I tried to call you last night. Yeah? You didn't answer. I didn't feel like talking. Where were you? Talking to Flissy, her date. Uh, I was at home. home. Alone? Yeah. Be so? I mean, Flissy called just, me. You know how this looks. Maybe. Right? What yeah, are you saying? Yeah. Everybody knows how you two felt about each other, Peggy. Jesus, Carl. <laughs> just be careful. Peggy, please. Everyone thinks she's a cold, a stone cold bitch. Whatever you're thinking, stop. I'm trying to help. Yes, yes, I hated Calvary. I hated Calvary, but not like this. Becky. This, this is insane. This just makes things a million times worse. And you're not helping. I mean, he's trying to help. What you up to, Simon? Look at poor dead Daniel Radcliffe. Oh, again? Fuck! Damn! Oh, he's still alive. Shit. Holy shit. That's the end of part one. Check the logbook, fix yourself a drink, and hit the box when you're ready to move on. This dumb voice is so jarring and annoying. Alright. Let's go. We're about to do it. Just as soon as this... There we go. Honestly, this voice coming in and telling me things really brings me out of the story. Becky arrested Finn, but her partner was electrocuted. My fault. Becky was promoted into homicide under- I wasn't reading fast enough, fuck me. Felicity took Finn's story to Judge Vanstone. She met him at the court that same day. Fel Felicity persuaded Judge Vanstone to release Finn into police custody. custody. Becky refused Felicity's offer. Felicity reviewed the files on her own. Oh man! Could I have gotten her to come over? 
<gasps> to have an alibi? Fuck! Becky didn't provide a good alibi for the night of Cavalry's murder. God damn it. I'm sorry, Becky. I'm so sorry. I don't know how I could have convinced her. Should I have been a bigger dick to Daniel Radcliffe? And now, part two of Hidden Agenda. Be quiet, boy. Ain't no one want to hear your voice. What happened? What happened with Simon and his dead body he was getting cozy with? Hey, Simon, how you holding up? Um, hanging in there. A lot of extra work whenever there's a freak on the loose, I guess. Okay, okay, guys, settle down. Listen up. Hey, listen up. We lost a cop today. Another one won't be returning to active duty. And it could have been even worse. I know it's going to be tough on all of us. No one here ever thought we'd see the day that Jack Calvary went down for the count. Well, he was a dig anyways. Yeah. Well, let's be blunt, he wasn't the kind to yeah. catch flies with sugar. He was an asshole. But he was one of us. And this atrocity cannot stand. Um, uh, Give me some on that witness. Excuse me, Sergeant. What's the latest on the witness? A call girl? We got an APB out. And uh, one for this Adam Jones, too. We'll keep you a bit. Until we have reason to believe otherwise, we are treating this as a trapper copycat. It's entirely possible that Jonathan Finn is somehow pulling the strings from behind bars. We have District Attorney Felicity Graves here to help with the investigation. Felicity! She is familiar with the trapper's MO. She's here to help. Please extend her every courtesy. One more thing. District Attorney Felicity Graves has negotiated to have Jonathan Finn temporarily released into our custody. Ah, oh, come on. You believe this? Hey. I think this might be a valuable lead, and I'm going to follow it through. Th and thank you. There's a problem with that. You know where my office is. All right, I kind of like this Marnie, dude. I'm going to need you to look into Calvary's old trapper case files. We're looking for links here. Anything we could have missed? You know it. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. Got it. Don't act like we don't okay, need to do to this, moving. Becky. Just remember, Jack Calvary is watching from whatever shithole he ends up. <laughs> He's doing proud. Oh fuck him! Whatever. Y'all didn't even like him. Hi, Miss hey, Graves. Becky. How you holding up? It's tough losing one of the ranks. No matter how it goes down. But thank you for asking. Let you know if we find anything. They're getting ready to move Finn for his little field trip. I'd like for you to join us. So would I. If I can get out of the dungeon. Becky should have come with me on that date. Do we have a problem? What? The fuck were you going on about this morning at the crime scene? Becky. Do you honestly think that I have something to do with this? Not now. Okay. Yeah, like, chill out, Becky. You're my partner. We gotta be honest with each other. Look, everyone knows about what was going on between you and Calvary. You've got motive, so I'm just doing my job. I thought that you would at least be on my side. It's not about sides. It's better that it's me asking questions, okay? Some of these guys... Yeah, right. I know how it looks. If Calvary had proven I lost evidence, I'd be screwed. So yeah, motive. It's too bad no one ever filed a complaint on him. And you know, this wasn't the first time he was with a hooker. He was a grade A creep, but they're still gonna ask questions. And the more distance you have, the better. Why do you think Sarge put you on file work? Oh, yeah. Uh... Well, I don't want to be aggressive, but I don't want to be, like, guilt tripping here. I thought Fuck you it. were my partner. I'm just making sure we got our story straight. So, you don't believe me? Of course I believe you. Doesn't really sound like it. Hey, Becky, you're so fair. fucking dramatic. We have to trust each other. Becky! Yeah, we do. Yeah, so trust him, Becky? Damn. Adam Jones was definitely at Las Palmas, same time as Finn. Allegedly died in the fire that shut the place down. Now, according to Finn, Jones grew up to be the trapper, but how can that be possible? 
Doesn't make sense. Okay. Orderly. Orphanage. Or his first victim. We gotta find a streetwalker. So let's do... If these killings are connected to the Las Palmas Orphanage, Father Rominski is at the center of it. It's just too bad that the rest of the clergy took a vow of silence the minute things started to get hairy for him. But Finn told Felicity that Rominski had some kind of secret room Yeah, let's go find orphanage. out about that shit. Couldn't find any reference to this in the police records. I guess it's time for me to head over to Las Palmas and take a look. Fuck yeah, finally. This is where I wanted to go. Let's go to the orphanage. Let's check it out. Let's see what all this weird shit's about. 22 hours until his execution. Finn, you going down, boy. I love that door texture loading in. So good. So sexy. Sexy door texture. Rob show, why don't you damn Becky? B -b -b Becky. What are we looking at? Where are we going? Which way? What's that? What you looking at, Becky? Some stairs? it burned down on a fire. Hold on. I'm confused. Oh, who's that? Ooh. I didn't know the Babadook was up in here. He's got a priest collar. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, Hello? fuck. I just scared myself. Oh, fuck. Hello? Hello? Oh, no. Uh-oh. Please move faster. Got it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright. Dog found a strange quote. What's it say? I can't read, uh, pixels. Found me a picture. Dog found a photo. And this trap door dog found a loose panel. Show me that. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> You're so brave to stick your hand up in there. I would never. I would die first. What's that? That's bad. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's nasty. That's some grade A bad shit right oh, there. Hello ladies. Looks like oh, Father Rominski was a regular customer. Sins of the Father. Whoa. What's it? Show me it. Becky, please. Becky. What you woe at? <laughs> no, hey. no. Hey, who's there? Go, Becky, run!
Is that Adam Jones? Go, Becky. Holy. What is that? Oh, nice. Ugh. Go, Becky. I was just about to say, I'm so glad there's no quick time events. And what do I come upon? A quick time event. Oh. Oh, damn. Good catch. Catch him? What? A train! Becky, a train! Damn it. Becky! No. No, 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 no. Yeah, he all. Sorry, Becky. We did our best. <sighs> That's why all cops should have body cams. Marty, I mean, that's not why, but that's part of it. Headed to a house at 22 Huffman Road. Meet you there? Uh, yeah. Is everything okay. okay? Um, let me tell you about it. I found Rominski's playroom. Anything good? No, not much, but he and Calvary had one thing in common. Hookers. Interesting. There's more. Someone was creeping around Las Palmas. It could have been nothing. I mean, the place is like squatter heaven. They bolted the second I made them. Hmm. I'll see you at the house. Hmm. What's this house? Um, I want to pay attention to this. Mm. Mm. My stamina has been restored in Fire Emblem. 20 hours until Finn's execution. God, he looks like a fucking. like a salamander. Like a lizard, Dude, lizard man. Sure he doesn't try anything. Oh, he can certainly try. Lizard man. He's tall. Lizard man, tall. Don't get any ideas. <laughs> Just tell again. him. How are your bracelets? Well, I can't feel my fingers. If that's what you're asking, you gonna help me out or what? Oh, y'all are actually gonna let him out of those? Uh, we're gonna tighten those cuffs. <laughs> How's I don't that? Trust lizard man. So kind of you. So is this where Adam came after the orphanage? This is where Adam grew up. All clear. Double squatter nests, but looks like they split. All right, give us five. Start the tour, boss. Right this way. This room right in here. This is where Adam slept when he ran away. Nobody's been here for years, oh. Finn. Well, I didn't say he'd be here to greet us. <laughs> really? Calm down, Becky. Oh, okay. Tent, paper, and a cardboard box. Alright, got that. Got that cardboard box and where's some papers? Yes, that's right. I <laughs> got them. <laughs> so you're saying that this is this is his, not some squatters? Squatters wouldn't dare. Do what? Use a tent they just found in an abandoned house? Yeah, they would. They would have stole that tent too. Dog found. So closed after arson attack. <sighs> God, I'm tired. Dog found is all of this. Some rat Adam's shit. Pop was a pest control man. Rats, rat, say. rat traps. A pretty good one too. Don't put your don't get your finger caught in no rat traps now. Traps. Of course. 
The one thing Adam got from his dad was a knack for killing vermin. Well... Detective Marnie, Sarge says it's time to wrap it up. We found something. Just need a couple more minutes. How did Adam end up at the orphanage? Well, Adam's papa gets so blasted he couldn't see a hole in the ladder. Beat his wife senseless if she gave him one crooked look. One night, she loaded up his double lot, took his head clean off. Ooh, right in front of Adam. Well, you do what you gotta do. The judge put her away for life. Oh. No parole, no visits from her kid. Okay, now. Guess it don't matter that if she hadn't picked up that shotgun, Pops would have killed them both sooner or later. Yeah, anyway. really? What the fuck? That's our justice system for you, right? Yeah. Sure is. That was pretty harsh. No good outcomes in a case like that. Surprised you couldn't see your kid, though. That's harsh. That's Judge Vanstone. You're kidding. Oh? Think I'd kid about the man who sentenced me to die? Oh? A couple of weeks in, Mama Jones hung herself in her cell. Oh. Christ. So, yeah. Adam was shipped off to Las Palmas. Out of the frying pan into the fire, huh? You wouldn't believe what they did to us in there. Minsky and that piece of shit orderly. And you know, we tried to fight him the way you're supposed to fight him. We called the cops. Third precinct. Oh. And nobody did a goddamn thing. Oh. Not even our own social worker. So once Adam got out of that hellhole, he figured out his own way to oh. make them all pay. Those cops? He knew their beat. He timed every murder to oh. the minute. He knew exactly who'd get the call and exactly what was waiting for him. I see. Cops failed. Parents failed, Bad system blood. failed. What would you do? You took out the people who hurt us. That's a we. Okay, you're literally making yourself complicit in this murder. Fuck yeah, I'd make them pay. If Fuck that shit. Hurt like Adam? Yeah. I'd want them to pay. Yeah? Yep. You know, I used to think maybe Adam's the only one who can see the world for what it truly is. See past all the bullshit. The evil deeds that lie in the hearts of men. But now I know only God has that gift. Thanks for hearing me out. After all this time, it's nice to tell my side of it. Sure. Call any time. There is... something else. Yeah? The hostage. When you picked me up. Daniela Cardenas. Well, Daniela and her sister Izzy were with us at Las Palmas. Um... We went through the same shit. Why did Izzy you never take her hostage then? Oh, deed a couple of years later. Oh. Adam knew that Daniela would do anything to see Raminsky pay. Oh, she was in on that. Oh. Son of a bitch. Oh my God. The hostage was in on it. Shit, I should have saved Tom. Fuck, Tom. I'm so sorry. This is 609. We're gonna need an APB on a new system. I'm so sorry, Tom. Cardenas, I repeat, we need an immediate APB. Cardenas was not a hostage in the Trapper case. She was a co-conspirator. copy. I'm gonna call Simon Hillary. If Daniela's sister passed through the morgue, he might be able to take up the case. You're gonna be all right? We're gonna be confident. Go. Me and Lizard Man. I got him. Hey. Don't try nothing, lizard man. Hey, come on. Don't just pretend don't like lizard I'm man's not there. Up? Less and less, but without proof that Adam's still running around. I can get you proof. No, you can't. You're right. Not like this, I can't. <laughs> You're uh -oh. Look, he's never gonna show his face while I'm on my own. Uh oh. Uh -oh. On my own. Uh oh. I'm drawn out. Uh oh! Serve him right up on a silver platter. Even if you're right, Judge Vanstone wouldn't go for it in a million years. Now, Becky, this is down to you. What if I were a wire? Then you could keep tabs on me. And... No. But it could work. No. You're on death row. Did you forget that? For crimes I didn't commit. You Just helped, obviously. Look, there's uh, something I may have neglected to mention. Oh, please, enlighten me. Adam told me that if I were to ever find myself free of incarceration, He'd reach out immediately. Is that so? You can make it look like I overpowered you. No one would have to know. Fuck, I'm kinda tempted. You serious? I cannot believe you're actually proposing this. Yes, you can. 
because you know it's the only way to catch Fuck, this is such a bad idea, but I want to do it. I could take you out in a second. That's true. Police would buy it. We can make it look real. And honestly, he could have just taken me out anyways, regardless, so... Let's do it. How would you find him? How would you even find him? I got strings I can pull. I can find him. You just gotta let me. Let's do it. Let's do it. fucking do it. <laughs> Becky, don't play by the rules. Watch out, Lucy. Becky? Hey! Time to wrap it up. Oh, be careful, Flissy. Becky. Oh, shit. We need help up here! Now! The notorious serial killer known as the Trapper has escaped from days before he was to face the final curtain for his crimes. Jonathan Finn was responsible for the deaths of numerous first responders during a reign of fear five years ago. Officials warn that Finn is dangerous and any sighting should be immediately reported to the authorities. Alright, I want to know what happened. I want to know now. You nope. weren't in the room with him. He's a big guy. I doubt you could have done any better. And why didn't anyone see him leave? Don't put this on anyone else. Well, this is a goddamn mess, but we are gonna stay focused, and we are gonna get this son of a bitch back in custody. Carl, what's the status? U.S. Marshals are initiating the manhunt as we speak. Okay, get out there and help. Anything they need. <sighs> Becky, until we catch a break, I'm gonna need you work in the case files. Let's do it. Okay, I'll get back to it. So. <laughs> you okay there? The hell's going on with your partner? Something's way off here. Doesn't add up. You think she's hiding something? I don't know. Let's keep an eye on her, alright? <sighs> Sorry, partner. Homicide department. Oh, one hour. Oh, one hour since Ben's escape. Okay. All right, let's do the orderly. LeMay, orderly at Las Palmas, in and out of the third precinct lockup for years, but known for his uncanny ability to avoid doing any real time. It seems likely that he knew people on the inside. If the third precinct cops were the trapper's targets, well, he connects both worlds. His brother, Vernon LeMay, works in sanitation downtown. I'm gonna pay him a visit. Okay. That, all right, there we go. Downtown. 1447. Two hours since Finn's escape. Come on, Becky. Get in there. No hesitation. I'd like to have a little chat. You don't even know who that is. Asshole. This is 609 in pursuit of suspect. Party made foot bail. Foot bail. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> what else? What am I have to do here? This dude's like limping. 
How are you not running fast enough? Come on, Becky. God damn it, Becky. Alright. Whoa! Hey, is that... I just want to talk, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, okay. Listen to me. You don't want to do anything stupid, okay? I don't gotta do anything. No. Isn't that I a dude? To to what the hell you want to talk about? It Get is. It's a... Uh, it's Flamethrower Guy. From Until Dawn. We're still gonna be calming. Lost Paul, Miss Orphanage? I need your help. The sooner you cooperate, the sooner this little misunderstanding will be over. Stay back. I can't think of that dude's name. Alright. We're gonna be cool. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just gonna drop my weapon. Okay? See? I only wanna talk to you. Yeah, we're cool. We're cool, flamethrower dude. Right? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say. Yes, I can and will be used against me. Story of my life. Nice. <gasps> I caught flamethrower guy. I caught Jack. Sorry, dude. I'm glad that went well though. I was not rowdy. I was cool and calm. Ain't looking too good right now, Vernon. I guess low-life numbskull just runs in the family, huh? What? Quit dicking me around. This is about your brother. Let's learn about Adam. Adam Jones. Ah. Uh, what can you tell me? Bro mentioned him once or twice. Said no matter how much he wailed on him, the kid would just look back at him with these big old dead eyes. Just taking it. Broke could do whatever he wanted, no matter how much the bastards complained. Cops weren't gonna touch their golden goose. Why is that? You know what? <laughs> I think my mouth just got tired. I think it's time for my lawyer. I know my rights. Um... Elaborate. Want me to spell it out? He supplied. For everyone. Yeah, you gonna send me up the river? You better make a hell of a lot of extra room. Why is that? Because I'm taking half the police department with me. Do it. Take them out. Get this piece of shit out of here. Who am I talking to myself? <laughs> Get this piece of shit out of here. Do it, buddy. Take, em, take down those cops. Fuck them. Fuck the cops. Sorry, Becky. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, there's someone in that car. Okay. No? No? Okay. Is oh, her jacket just did a little... About his brother? A flip. About the cops. The whole third precinct was dirtier than a truck stop toilet. The, uh, whole precinct? Yeah. I kept my nose clean, but it wasn't easy. Sergeant Tony was my boss, for Christ's sake. We have to tell someone about this. No reason to dig up the dead just to drag him through the mud. You're not wrong, but it doesn't feel right. Sometimes you gotta break a few eggs, Carl. Becky, what are you hiding? What are you hiding, Becky? Becky. Becky, what are you hiding, Becky? Becky hiding something. <laughs> Eight twenty-three p.m. Revisiting the crime scene of Detective Jack Calvary's murder. Gonna have a closer look at the bedroom first. It's not that big of a place, but are you gonna set off another fucking if bomb? The forensic team missed something. Like another bomb, a bed, and some shelves. It looks like. And then, I don't see these shelves. Hey, there's 
Here we go. Ugh. Bloody mess. Marks spread outward on the headboard from the, um, the origin of the blast. Forensics confirmed that the bullets were fired from Dog Calvary's gun. Spit bullet casings. Why? Hear that fucking ghost? Did someone walk by? Because I was not paying attention. Fuck. <sighs> it's almost one in the morning. Let's do this baggy. Who's that? Oh, Flissy. You scared me. I can explain. Yeah, well, you damn well better. I will. I will. Just could you start talking? I needed to know. Know what? About you. What were you trying to find out? I know you and Calvary had issues. It's putting it mildly. That's exactly my point. The inquiry? Jesus Christ. You two? I have to look at this from every angle, Becky. You know that. If Sorry, you wanted Calvary out, then you could have used Finn's confession to pin it on the trapper. That's opportunity and motive. You're right. And so is this oh right God. now. Oh, God. Please. Please, Becky. Who is he? That's right. Who am I? Who? I'm sorry for you, for you to think that I could do this. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sewing. Doing some sewing. Getting together a nice shirt. Mwah. Trophy earned. Stalker. Just gave that dude a kiss. Okay, Just a good old. That's the end of part two. Hit the box when you're ready to move on. Tutorial. Shut the fuck up. That's such a bad voice. Tutorial Man has such a bad voice, and I don't like it. Let's go. Let's do it. The Lilicity persuaded Judge Vanstone to release Finn into police custody. Finn took Becky to the house where Adam Jones was raised. Becky talked Vernon down after he pulled a gun on her. Vernon revealed his brother's links to corrupt cops. Becky found evidence that Father Rominski used prostitutes. Boom, boom. Becky had a good look at the figure following her. We, ha we don't have anything after that yet either. Those consequences are coming. Becky aided Finn's escape so he could find Adam. We'll see about those consequences soon, I'm sure. Finn told Becky that his hostage was working with him during his arrest. Poor Tom, I'm so sorry. Let's do it. I don't like having to use my phone for this though. I wish I could just and now, use the controller. Part three of Hidden Agenda. How many parts are there? Can I finish this in a night, do you think? Temple Bar. 2045. Six hours since Finn's escape. I went back to the crime scene to see if Forensic missed anything, but came up empty. Uh, not exactly. <sighs> Jesus, Becky. What? what? Any evidence you found did will be skip inadmissible. Some... Oh, well, it's still a lead. Did she just skip some- or did it just skip some dialogue? That's Thanks. weird. When Calvary was investigating the trapper five years ago, he had one big blind spot. Prostitutes. Father Rominski had a thing for hookers. I wish we could find the hooker that was with Calvary. 
that at least be a place to start. Maybe the trapper is using a hooker to lure his targets to a premeditated murder site. I just... I don't even know what to think anymore. I feel like everyone is out to get me. Don't worry. I want like three different conversation tracks. We're gonna be relaxed. Love you, Flissy. I'll cheers to that. Maybe Finn's Oh, they're right. on a date. Nice. And Adam Jones is the one behind all this. He's but if he really is the one doing all this, where is he now? Complicit. He's still. You know what? It's pretty late. <sighs> yeah. Apart from nice. this. Sleep on it. Take all this to surgeon in the morning. Sleep on this, you said? No, Flizzy, come back. All right. See ya. No. Stay well, the night, Flizzy. Adam Jones. Finn? Where are you? I'm outside his house. I told you I'd find him. Oh, hey. I'm outside his house right now. Wait, Let's where? go. Let's go. In town? Yeah. Uh, have you talked? Oh, I can just pause it from my phone. Wish I'd known that. I followed him home. He didn't see me. Some woman left his place a little while ago. Now he's just in there by himself. Pause What's the address? In a second. 1712 Alameda Road. Uh, uh, oh no. Oh no. Oh, is that her? It's her! Holy shit! Becky! Wait, where's Flissy? Flissy drank too! Flissy! Trophy earned! Mickey Finn. Felicity Graves. Graves residence. Hey, Lana. Check your email now. Six hours what since Finn's escape. Oh. Whoever did this makes a compelling argument Marty killed Calvary. Well, more than just Calvary. Play the audio. Uh-oh. Uh Cannot believe the mouth on this Marty chick. We gotta be careful, or she'll blow this whole operation. What'd she say? Threaten me. Us. All of us. She's out of control. Someone that's so vague. That for years. Did you recognize the I'm sorry, oh. but that's so Should vague. I? Confirmed. They're two of the officers killed by the trapper. They could have been yeah, talking about anything, no. though. What? Marnie's been acting pretty odd. I hate to say it, but it kind of adds up. Since right escape. Down, Which one am I? Am I Daniela or am I? You're in a lot of trouble, young Carl. lady. Suck my nuts. Ho -ho! <laughs> Dang. Finn's come clean. You know you weren't a real hostage back in 2012. Look, I get it. You and your sister went through hell. The cops did nothing. They failed you. And you wanted to make them pay. Adam Jones, right? He offered you a way to get back at them all. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do, and it's a felony, but help us out. Maybe we'll let bygones be bygones. Sure. He's the one who set it up. He told me what he did to the fuckers who hurt me and Izzy, but I have no clue where he is now. You haven't seen him at all since the arrest. I saw him once. He didn't recognize me. He looked all different, but I recognized him. You can always tell from his creep-ass eyes. <laughs> Even all cleaned up. Cleaned up how? I don't know, he's like... a cop doctor. It's Simon! Boy, I knew it! Dirt I garbage. fucking knew it! That we'll bitch! No. It's Simon! Don't go anywhere. I fucking knew it. It's gotta be Simon.
There's been an abduction. Judge Van Stone. Witness says it was Becky Marnie who took him. What? Show me that Simon asshole. Hey. Alright, I know Simon did it. We're gonna figure this out though. We're gonna figure out what's going on here. Elliot Hotel. Eight hours since Finn's escape. Come on, Becky. That makes sense too, because evidence was disappearing and it was being blamed on her. But Simon, who obviously don't even fucking check out crime scenes completely, has. can touch all the evidence or whatever. He's got a. he's on the inside. Oh! Oh, God. oh fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Same, Becky? Oh, god. Oh fuck, I'm about to have to figure this shit out. Don't do that, he's gonna explode. What, a, what, what did she do to me? What did she put inside me, goddammit? Um. Uh, who is she? She? What? Was a, who? Who's she? Was a, a woman. A goddamn whore. Hey. What has she done? It's your phone. Nice. Don't answer that. It's gonna explode. Buzzerhead Detective Marty. I'm coming for you. I know you did it. I know you killed everyone. Oh, my cat just scared me. Shut the no door. Escape. You're the trapper, Becky. I mean. Who are you? It's Simon. Why are you doing this? <laughs> God. <laughs> Becky? You might just come out of this alive, if that's any consolation. Come on, but we gotta save this dude. He's carefully. our witness. If you will notice, there is a small heartbeat tracker on Judge Vanstone's wrist. It is synchronized to a cell phone that I have surgically implanted into his stomach. The phone is just a timer. Oh, no. Oh, no. The faster no. his heart races, the quicker the clock. Oh, no. How would you care to guess what happens when the numbers reach zero? Oh, fuck. Game over. <laughs> For anyone in, say, a uh, hundred foot radius, give or take, which will most likely include all the oh, police no. who are swarming in to arrest you right now. Why? Why are you doing this? What's your end game? Well, it's certainly not be analyzed by a two bit cop. Rude. Sometimes killing is the only option. What? Oh, start killing police! Run, but I can't promise you I'm not gonna pop that balloon a bit early. Oh, really? And there's enough explosives in there to level the whole floor. Jesus Christ. I left your fire on for a reason. Stop the heart. Stop the timer. You can't be serious. I can be whatever I want. You can be alive or you can be dead. That's your choice. And the clock's ticking. So what did he say? Are you gonna get me out of this? Hell yeah, I am. We gonna stay. What did he say? Okay. Could you Quit freaking me out. out of this, please? I'm really sorry about this. Shit. Oh, I thought we were going to figure this Shit. out. No, 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 no. Please. Oh, no. I can't do it. 
can't do it. Sorry. Fuck. I can't. I can't do it. That's right, Becky. You're okay. not a murderer. Okay. Thank you. in there. Can you get it out? How much time do we have? Yeah, I can get it out. We're gonna get this out. We're gonna do this. Why in God's Shh. name? Please, 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 just stay. Stay calm, stay calm. I, 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 shit. If the timer reaches zero, then we're both dead. How much time? Oh, uh, not much. Plenty of time. Plenty. Plenty. Right now, we have plenty of time. Okay, so let's let's keep it that way. Let's just stay calm, and, and we can figure this Start out. Start killing. Give me kills. So, if you take this phone out of me, it can't hurt me, right? That's right. You gotta get it out of me. Hey, chill the fuck out. We're about to operate. We're gonna operate on this bitch. Let's do it. That is gonna make his heart rate fucking oh, escalate. No, please. Oh, oh fuck. I can't take it. Oh. <laughs> all right, all right. Now cut all the wires or whatever, so it's not. Oh no, come wait. Wouldn't it Wi-Fi to his heart or whatever? Fuck. Or Wi-Fi to a heart monitor. Hey, apparently that doesn't matter. Oh, is he dead? Tell me he just passed out. Tell me he just passed out. Come on. Tell me I didn't go through all of that. And he died. <laughs> Fuck off. You have five missed calls. Carl Carter. Becky. God damn it, where are you? Oh my god, Carl. We got a tip you kidnapped Judge Vanstone and said you were at the Elliott Hotel. We got us surrounded. I'm at the hotel, but you gotta help me. Please. Ah. Uh, <laughs> damn look really frustrated. Damn it, Becky. You got two minutes, then SWAT's coming in. That's all. Two minutes to do what? Carl. Thank you. I guess we're just gonna... Get the fuck out of there, huh? Trophy earned. Partners in crime. Trophy earned. Bomb squad. Nice. And it's been nine hours since Vince escaped. Go, Hold Becky. Up. Do whatever we're doing. Jesus. You're cutting it close there, Carl. Carl's a true bro. Let's go get him. We gotta do this now. No. No, I'm going alone. 
don't know what he's capable of. I said get out of here. Oh, oh. Okay, we're just at the front door now. I want a choice. I would have brought him with me. I mean, he's right. Alright, come on, Simon. Is that Simon? Yeah. You fucking know it is, Simon, you bitch. Freeze. Don't move. Don't move. Huh. You got Simon. You've gotten what you want, haven't you? You don't know what I want. You want revenge on the people who hurt you. And Johnny? He was never supposed to go down for this. Drop the knife. Just come in. Confess and it will all be over. You've got what you wanted. No, Detective Marnie. What we wanted was a future. We never had one, and thanks to you, we never will. Come on, tell me about it. What's Marnie hiding? Oh. Oh, shit. Okay, Becky didn't provide a good alibi for the murder, for the night of Calvary's murder. Even so, her partner agreed to call off the SWAT team. He gained trust in her during the day. Becky aided Finn's escape so he could find Adam. Finn tracked Adam to his new address. Finn told Becky that his hostage was working with him during his arrest. The police questioned her and learned that Adam had become a police doctor. Becky had a drink at the bar. <laughs> she woke up in a hotel room alongside Judge Vanstone's trapped body. That's pretty good. Hold on. Alright. Oh, we about to go. Earlier today, Judge William Vanstone was kidnapped from his home on the east side of the city. He has since been rescued and is back oh, okay, with his family so cool. recovering. Detective Marnie so. escaped the scene and then proceeded to invade the home of Simon Hillary, a forensics medical examiner with the local police. Detective Becky Marnie has been investigating Hillary in connection to the murder of Detective Jack Calvary. Simon Hillary, a forensics medical examiner with the local police department, was being considered a suspect and has now been oh, shot and killed, killed by law enforcement Shit. at his residence in the South Bank neighborhood. According to files we've obtained from an anonymous leak within the police force, Detective Marnie was implicated in the notorious 2012 Trapper killings, previously attributed to Jonathan Finn. We've heard an unconfirmed report that Detective Becky Marnie may have aided in the escape of convicted serial killer Jonathan Finn. Jonathan Finn has been taken into custody and is reportedly cooperating with the investigation. Sources say he may have played a key role in identifying Hillary as a suspect. An investigation is ongoing. Sergeant Riggs made a brief statement to the press only moments ago. Well, damn. Hmm. This is a dark day for the police force. But I can assure you, we are taking every step including a rigorous internal investigation to ensure that this kind of travesty of justice will never happen again. So what you're saying is that Marnie helped you? I'm just telling you what happened. Do you think it's possible she suffered from some form of multiple personality disorder? You think she was crazy? Playing both sides at once? In this town? Anything's possible. I already told you everything I know. Why don't you leave me alone? I didn't want any of this to happen. None of it's gonna bring my sister back. Do you understand? Yeah, I... I don't know, I just... 
It just doesn't make sense. I thought she was onto something. I don't think she's behind this. That's right, Felicity. I trusted her. I, I love you, Felicity. I trusted her. Guess I shouldn't have shot uh, Simon then. Whoops. Interesting. Interesting. I was hoping this would be a lot longer. I was hoping it'd be like... Well, I mean, I figured that for $20 it wouldn't be like a full-length game, but... I was hoping it'd be longer than two hours. Larry Fessenden. That was him. I knew it was him. <sighs> I don't know if I said that right. Fessenden? Fess Fessenden? Hey, Jeff Grace did the score. Back at it again, huh, Jeff Grace? I made it sound like I know who that is, huh? I don't. Interesting. I have to play it through again. These credits are boring. Good time and competitive. A surprisingly good time. I made it to diamond, and I'm only ten or so wins away from a gold from my a, a second second golden gun. I got Lucius first, and I'm probably getting mercies. I hope there's an after credit scene to make me waiting. Worth it. I don't want to skip. You always watch the credits. That's what I've learned. Always watch the credits. It's 1.12 in the morning. I might play some of watch after this because I don't know what a decent sleep schedule is. I, c 
could skip, but I won't. I'm strong. I can hold it in. I can wait. I regret doing that. I just prolonged it. Oh man, there's like a little logbook on my phone. Oh, I got biographies for characters. Oh wow, there's a lot of characters I haven't seen apparently. Ripple events. Oh, there's a lot I haven't unlogged. Oh shit. Takeovers? Oh. Competitive sounds fun. Fuck. Okay. So apparently in a competitive mode, you have a hidden agenda. And if you achieve your hidden agenda, you'll earn 100 points. You have to keep your agenda hidden from other players, and you have to try to bluff your friends into thinking you don't have it. If you can guess who has the hidden agenda, you'll earn 50 points. Not every choice affects the hidden agenda. Look around the room and ask questions to discover who has the hidden agenda. If you know who has the hidden agenda, try tricking your friends into wasting your bow by acting guilty. In the finale, everyone gets a unique endgame agenda. Try to steer the story to make your endgame agenda come true and fool your friends' efforts to do the same. Completing an endgame agenda is worth 200 points. That's pretty cool. I wish I could have done that, but I don't have anyone with me tonight. I'll have to get my two friends together, and we'll have to try that next time, because that sounds fun. Credits are endless. God, I don't think until Dawn's credits were even this long. Have you been hanging out in front of the AC? Yeah. Yeah, you're hanging out in front of the window unit. Yeah. Aw, Star Killer. So sweet. So sweet. Stop. Good 
God, please, credits, please. Oh no, Star Killer, please don't lay on my mic. Next time I'll have to get Tom to live. These credits still fucking going. found the prostitute and there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen <laughs> yeah this was my first playthrough and he did come into the end it was interesting it was a wild ride I uh, didn't unlock everything and I accidentally uh, killed the suspect. I didn't know it'd kill him. I shot at him. And then it was like, you did it. Game's over. But it was like an interactive movie, so it was fun. That's alright, I might do another, uh, another stream, but I don't know when. Uh, hour and 52 minutes? Not very long. Yeah, it was, it was pretty fun. I was disappointed that it wasn't longer, but for $20, it was, it was, it's decent. I, I wish I'd had more friends to play with, because I think that would have been more fun. Because then we all could have uh, influenced what happened. I get the feeling from the options you can see on your phone, because it's like a ripple effect. Or that's what it's called. It's like the butterfly effect from Until Dawn. And there are a lot that I haven't unlocked. So... As good as Until Dawn? No. <laughs> Definitely not. Not, um... Not at all. But it was pretty fun. I think it'd be more fun with a group. I just don't have a group at the moment. Ow! Star Killer, fuck off. These credits have been going forever, by the way. I'm hoping there's something at the end to make it worth it. Because I've just been sitting here talking to myself. It looked like a few people came in, but no one commented. Or if they commented, I totally missed it. I didn't realize that anyone was here until I looked up from my phone a second ago. That's kind of the weird thing about this game. You don't use a PS4 controller to control it. You have to have a smartphone, and you have to download the Hidden Agenda app, and you have to make your choices uh, with your touchscreen. But I guess that's so other people can play, so you, so you don't have to worry about controllers. But no. Well, yes, some people joined, but they left after like 10 minutes max. I was thinking about um, uploading it all to YouTube because I did save everything. So. There would be that at least, if anyone wanted to watch it from the beginning and watch me uh, 
uh, be very confused. Oh no! How did I do that? I'm fucking sitting through these fucking credits! And I accidentally disconnected my phone! Oh my god! Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna try. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad you'd watch some of it. If if uh, if you started it and enjoyed it, that is. I thought it was fun to play. So, but it might be less fun watching it and not being able to make the decision yourself. I don't know though. I enjoy I enjoy watching people play until dawn, and knowing what's gonna happen, and then seeing them freak out when things happen. So I guess it depends. Oh man, have you have you seen someone play until dawn at least? Cause I I guess until dawn, and and a game like this, playing it doesn't really matter. Cause there's you hardly do anything. There's just uh, choices and quick time events. Oh god, I better not disconnect my phone. I keep turning it off. But you have to leave it on. God, these credits are longer than until dawns. And this game is so fucking short. That is very fun. I, I wish I had uh, more friends that I could make play it, but... My two closest friends. I watched uh, one of them play it first because I'm a scaredy cat. And then I watched my other friend play it later after I played it a few times. So everyone I know has already played it. All two of my friends. <laughs> Watching um, YouTubers is fun, but not as fun because I don't get to talk to them. Oh, finally these fucking credits have ended. There was nothing! It was pointless! <laughs> amazing. Amazing. Um... What will continuing get me? Uh, I'm afraid to hit continue, because if I just go from the beginning, that's going to be annoying. Oh, uh, let's see. I feel like it's just going to start over. Yeah. Maybe. We'll see. If it left off from what happened, that'd be cool, but... Um, I was looking at that on my phone because it's got the app has like rules for it, and uh, it says when you make choices, uh, each of the players has to like race for it basically, and your little this controller. This is a dark day for the police force. Oh I God, can it's just gonna. You, we are taking every step. No. But um, competitive mode, each player like races to make a choice and. Uh, Whoever makes the choice gets a takeover card, and you can use that takeover card during a choice to lock the other players out of making choices. <laughs> yeah, that's what I named myself, Donk. <laughs> you can name yourself, and you choose your controller color, so I chose Donk in red. But, um, and you get it like a hidden agenda, as per the title of the game, and you have to accomplish your hidden agenda. Since I don't have anyone to play with it right now, I don't know what those hidden agendas are, but I assume it's like stuff like get get the dude to escape or whatever, like get the bad guy to escape or something like that. And then you have to hide your hidden agenda from your friends and somehow still accomplish this by making sure you make the right choice choices and get the choices first. And I guess using the takeover card to 
take lock everyone else out to make sure your choice is uh uh the dominant choice or whatever. But yeah, let me can I get out of this game? Quit. Yeah, cuz that's just the credits. That's just the beginning of them. I hope it does too. I'm sure there will be more people playing it cuz this is only the first night it it's been released and I streamed it immediately after it became unlocked on the PSN. So I'm sure there will be other playthroughs and stuff available. Um thanks for joining me though. I think I'm going to quit now. I'm not going to start over a new game cuz it's 1:30 in the morning. So thank you for joining me. Even if it was at the end and I'll post this on YouTube. Uh, eventually. Probably tomorrow. And, uh, post a link on it. Link to it on Until Donk. I don't stream super often. I streamed, um, Rush of Blood a few times, about two weeks ago. And then I, I'm really bad at shooters. So I got stuck on the last level and I haven't uh, I haven't streamed it since because I got frustrated but maybe I'll stream that again soon when I uh, get a chance yeah <laughs> yeah same it's a uh, pretty bad so thank you I'll post this on YouTube um, and have a good night There it is. Okay, good night.